A new season calls for new meals. Over on HelloFresh.com, you can choose from over 40 different meals with a hundred add-on items for like snacks, breakfast, you name it. But the new thing that I am so super excited about are these family meals and the opportunity to use my crock pot. Put it all in there, forget about it, work, whatever I need to do, it'll be all ready to go for me later when it's time to eat. And boy, can it feed a crowd. Today we're having the slow cooker mushu style pork tacos. I'm going to surprise Jason because mushrooms are one of his favorite things. And so I picked this one to surprise him. So I think he's gonna be really excited about it. I think your family members would be excited also. If you head to hellofresh.com and use my code 50 a charming abode, you can get 50% off plus free shipping. There will be a link down in the description box. You know, I was just telling everyone about how I was surprising you with this meal because it has mushrooms in it and how much you love mushrooms. But you can't resist coming in here and making a HelloFresh meal, can you? I can't. <laughs> One of my favorite things is that HelloFresh takes the stress out of meal time. It has everything delivered right to my door. Fresh ingredients, easy recipes. It just takes all the guesswork out of what I'm going to be cooking. And I just love that I get to skip the grocery store and just have extra time at home with the busy things that I'm going to be doing this fall season. You guys know that we have been long time HelloFresh users and we have come to rely on the ease and convenience of it. And I honestly can't envision life without it now. So if you want to take the guessing game out of what you're going to have for dinner, head to HelloFresh.com. Use my code 50 a charming abode for 50% off plus free shipping. The link is in the description box. Now I got to go get Jason and let him know dinner's ready, but I didn't get to surprise him, but that's okay. All right. We are out here on my front porch. We are getting it all cleaned off and ready to go. I am so excited to bring you my fall harvest front porch for this year and show you the, some fun, exciting things. Enough of that. Let's get into the front porch. All right, we have the front porch all cleared off. I always leave those tables and chairs there because we sit there all the time. So here we go. All right, I had to call in the big guns because this hay bale is just a little too heavy. Thank you. So next up, we gotta do a little bit of an adventure. I thought I would show you where we acquired the hay bale and the corn stalks that are coming because that's the fun part. Living here in Kansas, it's really nice to be able to have friends who are farmers who have corn available to us to be able to cut down. We ran over to our friend's house who actually happens to have a pumpkin patch and got a few corn stalks and we've been trying to get them dried out. I will let you know that they're not all the way dried out, but we're still gonna go ahead and use them. You guys get the idea. Just an FYI, obviously everybody doesn't have access to a cornfield. Your local nursery will have corn stalks. Usually like if you live in an area that has an Earl May or what your local nursery is, they will have corn stalks that are usually pretty inexpensive that you can buy for your front porch decor. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I like it kind of spread out like that. So when you think of a cornfield, I always think of a scarecrow. So this year we're gonna have two scarecrows out here. We're gonna have Jason and Leslie. Jason, I had bought. <laughs> he creeped me out, but we'll talk more about that later. And then for me, I wanted to make a fun garden person and show you guys how to do that. So let's get started and I'll show you how I made. Oh, you guys, there's the cutest hummingbird right next to me. I don't even wanna move. Hi. Oh, you're gonna come over here? Oh, I wish I could grab the camera and show you. But I know he'll move. There he goes. Oh, sorry, that was so beautiful. I'm gonna show you how I made me so super simple. If you're enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And definitely hit the notification bell so you never miss out. All right, so we have the just the basic cross that we made. And I went ahead and I put one of my t-shirts on and I stuffed the arms with newspaper. Well, one was actually done with newspaper and one was done with like grocery bags um, because I didn't have enough grocery bags. That's what I started with. And I feel like the newspaper one's a little bit thick and fluffy as if Leslie's got massive muscles, but it's fine. All right, so we have that. And then I was like, okay, let's be creative. And I've decided 
to put an apron on me because for some reason over on Instagram I'm now like a food channel no <laughs> for some reason that's what always goes popular my half the time over on Instagram is um, cooking things so I was like oh well Leslie needs to have on an apron then so I'm just gonna tie this around okay that's kind of fun but then we know Leslie's got blonde hair <laughs> so I have this blonde wig now, Jason's scarecrow, you can't see his face, so we're not gonna be able to see my face either. So we're just gonna put this over top. This is so easy and such a fun little DIY. Okay, but I think I should have my hair coming over my shoulders. I need to brush my hair. All right, so that, that's pretty good. And then, I need a hat because I'm out here in the, you know, corn patch. I can't be getting a sunburn. Oh, that's cute. I need my little garden gloves on. My paper came out. Okay. Okay, and now we'll do the other side. I feel like since I'm always wearing some kind of jewelry and you can't really see earrings on this, Leslie needs to have bracelets on. How adorable is that? All right, next up, we're gonna add in Jason. But Jason is taking a nap, because this is what Jason likes to do. He fell asleep while reading. All right, let's do a few things and set the scene over here. Make it just be super fall pretty. Okay, hold on, I have a change of idea here. I think to soften this look up a little bit. Make it look cozy. And Jason's gonna need this blanket and take a nap with since he's already napping. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this black. I thought about putting it into like a uh, pot, but I'm gonna leave it black because the lantern we're gonna put has black in it. Did anyone else notice that I picked this mum to match the color of the book? I'm such a weirdo. All right, I got this fun little lantern here with the wood and the black and then this pretty, it's like a wood carving of like a jack-o'-lantern face. So it doesn't scream Halloween at you. It just looks pretty. All right, my friend who owns the farm also has a pumpkin patch, but the pumpkins aren't ready yet because it's pretty early. So don't come at me that I have to have fake pumpkins right now. But if you follow me over on Instagram or Facebook, I'll show all the real pumpkins here. And well, they should be out in like about another week or two for sure because his pumpkin patch opens at the end of September, so. All right, I want these little things to hang down. I got this picture last year from the Decor Steel's Fall Steal It box, and I just tied the same little jute string on there as around the corn. I'm just gonna hang it up here. Make sure I get it straight. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to step back and look at it. My arm sticking out like that is cracking me up. Looks like I'm a little tense. <laughs> I kind of like it. All right, let's move over here and get our rug put down. I am super excited about this rug. I just feel like using brown gingham is just a little different. I've never really seen many people use it and I feel like here on my front porch with the color of the wood and the door, 
and everything. I'm like, oh, that is perfect. And then obviously since we're in Kansas, I really like this little welcome sign. It's got these little sunflowers and just some fall foliage. And I think this is perfect. All right, I think we need to line the doorway here with a cute little planter. I got these adorable little apple baskets with some fall foliage in it. I love these because they're like classic yet pretty. Okay, I feel like we need like a bright orange one right here. All right, I'm testing this out. I put a small stack of corn husk on one side. I'm gonna put it on the other and see if it looks good lining the door without feeling overwhelming. Something that's always drove me crazy about this house is the fact that this side is smaller than this side. Like why, why couldn't it just be equal? It's me wanting that symmetry, but I can't have it, so that's okay. All right, I think I like it. I just wanna to need to make sure that it's not gonna like cover my camera. So I'll have to keep an eye on that, but I think that's cute. All right, we did that side, we've done that. Now let's slide over here and get some pillows and get this a little bit cozier looking. Whew, I just sat down in this chair those things are getting very loud, the cicadas. <laughs> but I found this adorable, same kind of pattern as the rug. It's a little bit different, but they're not next to each other, so it's okay. And so I just have these same pillows that I feel like I'm constantly just putting the covers on. Um, everything will be listed down below that I'm able to. Some of this stuff is old, I've had it before, and that kind of thing. But the little rugs and these pillow covers are definitely new. I feel like because we have the corn stalks on each side and then the stuff down below, I just don't feel like a wreath on the door is just too much. So we're gonna move our wreath over here. Okay, I have these three nice pumpkins. I actually used these last year. Let's put a mum right here. The only thing I don't like about it is it's in fours. I like to do things in like threes or fives. Maybe I'll see if I have something else cute that could sit out here. A mum is needed down here for sure. I think I have just enough corn stalks to put them in each corner right here. And then that way that will really complete the look of our little cornfield with our scarecrows. And then I have one more fun idea, but my goodness, the cicadas are getting so loud out here. I'm so sorry if they're getting picked up in the microphone. Let's get the corn stalks done. And then I think I'll probably come out here and do my fun last little thing and give you a whole, you know, show you in the morning when there's like sun, it's getting dark. It's the next morning and obviously the cicadas have calmed down this morning and we have some sunshine. It got dark, it got loud. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so I had to put this out here because I think this is kind of ironic. So we got, you know, Jason, our scarecrow, who fell asleep reading A Murder of Crows. It's only appropriate that we have some crows sitting on him while he's sleeping. You know, they're mocking him. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below how you plan to decorate your front porch. I get my pumpkins. I'm gonna put these here to kind of fill in this space. I think they're really pretty and they match the wreath very nicely also. So we'll put one over on this side also and then I definitely think we're gonna need a crow up here. Something I'm totally debating about and you guys will have to let me know what you think down in the comments. Right up over here in this corner. Do you guys remember our harvest moon that we put? It was actually in this corner last year. So it was the first year I ever used that and showed that. I'm like, would that be lame if I brought that back out again and we hung him from this corner up over here? I just feel like that would be really fun. It's like the little man in the moon overlooking our little corn patch. Hmm, maybe we'll go get that. Okay, he looked weird and lonely in that other corner, but he looks perfectly happy right here, shining over my little scarecrows. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so fun sharing my fall harvest front porch with you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.